How's it going everybody? My name is Jimson and I just ran across this interesting little video and I just wanted to talk about it considering on our last channel we have talked about uh, voting, right? Whether you should vote or not. This one. And I thought the controversy was already over by now. It's not. It's not. It's equal pay and I don't understand it. These people made this video titled 20% counts equal pay day. So I want to kind of watch it with you guys and I want to talk about it. So here we are. We got this ridiculous, I think it's a ridiculous video already, but watch for yourselves. On average, they're paid less. We talked to real women about gender gap pay. I've been a cement mason for 22 years this year. I'm an architect. I used to build jet engines. Have you ever thought about how much more money you would make if the pay gap didn't exist? I try not to think about <laughs> how much money I'm missing out on. Can you just flip that card around? <laughs> So this is how much I did not get. This is gonna be a house right here. This would be like two houses, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't have my student loans anymore. Like, I might only have one roommate. It would definitely go towards my son's education. 20% counts. 20% counts. 20% 20 counts. counts. It matters for women. It matters for families. <laughs> it matters because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, it, it, it's... It's the right thing to do, right? Equal pay for equal work. But I think it's a little deceiving here because they're just saying, what do they say? They say they're a masonry architect, jet engine engineer or something, right? Which are, okay, architect and a jet engineer sounds like a pretty high title of a job. But then they hold up these weird signs, public relations, public relations, software consulting, wait, I thought you were, I thought you were the architect. Why do you have a software consulting seven years job? Build jet engines, build jet engines. Jet engines to a software consulting. Wait, do you do software consulting for jet engines or are you an engineer for jet engines? Because you're telling me one thing, you're holding up a different type of sign here. I used to build jet engines. You used to build, but now you're software consulting. I'm a little confused on what you're trying to tell me here with the sign and this whole thing. Oh my god, I, I, I can't believe people are still complaining about this. It's ridiculous. Equal pay for equal work. It sounds like a no-brainer, right? But except you're holding up, you're telling me two different things. Are you complaining that they paid you 20% less than your counterpart, your male counterpart, and you're a jet engineer or software consultant? or in general because if you're saying in general that's a problem because if someone is a doctor and you're a software consulting of course you're not going to be making the same money but i would assume at the same position you will make the same amount of money but if you do different labor you're going to get paid differently now there's an article on forbes magazine here in which they talk about well on average annually women make 20% less than men, but they don't state that it's an equal job, an equal pay. What? Okay, well maybe it's because women pick jobs that pay less and men don't pick those jobs, right? The wage gap statistic, however, doesn't compare two similar situated coworkers of different sexes working in the same industry, performing the same work for the same number of hours a day. It merely reflects the median earnings of all men and women classified as full-time workers. All men and women and how many hours they work. It doesn't, it's disregarding what kind of job they had, that 20%. So when you hold up that sign, $189,000 more you would have made in a couple of years. The, I, I, I don't know what the you're talking about the department of labor time use survey for example finds the average full-time working man spends 8.14 hours a day on the job compared to 7.7 .7 hours for a full-time working woman employees who work more likely earn more men working five percent longer than women alone explains about one quarter of the wage gap so if they work a little more they're gonna get paid a little more. I mean, for me, my experience, I think the whole thing is people don't talk about their wages. There's this stigma that you cannot talk about how much you make with other people. You'd rather talk about how Tiffany got so 
fucked up at the party last night than how much you guys make an hour, right? Most people don't want to talk about that. And your employer doesn't want you talking about that. They, they kind of don't because, hey, if someone is making more, hey, I just caught your ass. Um, I could I could sue you or something, right? So they're probably not gonna do that anyway. Because if not, that is against the law. And you could bring this up, US Equal Employment Opportunity Commissions. And this states, this states, The right of employees to be free from discrimination in their compensation is protected under several federal laws, including the following enforced by the US Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the Equal Pay Act of 1963. The Equal Pay Act requires that men and women be given equal pay for equal work in the same establishment. The jobs need not be identical, but they must be substantially equal. It is job content, not job titles, that determines whether jobs are substantially equal. Specifically, the EPA provides that employers may not pay unequal wages to men and women who perform jobs that require substantially equal skill, effort, and responsibility and that are performed under similar working conditions within the same establishment. So they're saying it's against the law for your employer to pay you less if you're a woman. So there in itself, you can probably sue or complain about it, right? And they have to do it because it's against the law and it'd be illegal not to obey that law. The job's content, not the job's title. So it needs to be substantially equal. It can't be two workers in a factory, a man and a woman, a man holding something really heavy up and the woman maybe like pushing stickers or some shit on there. That is not, I don't think that's substantially equal. I mean, I, I, I could be wrong, but that's not substantially equal. This guy's holding like a 150 pound thing up while she puts something on the bottom like paint or something. That does not seem equal to me. But if they switch turns, then that seems equal. Or if, she, you know, maybe she's holding, instead of a 150 pound thing, maybe she holds some, the smaller ones, 100 pounds or something. But she's able to do it for how many hours they have to do it during their job. Whatever, you know? As long as it's pretty damn equal is what it's saying. Skill, measured by factors such as the experience, what is ability, skill? education, and training required to perform the job. The issue is what skills are required for the job not what skills the individual employees may have. For example, two bookkeeping jobs could be considered equal under the EPA even if one of the job holders has a master's degree in physics, since that degree would not be required for the job. Now if like you're a computer engineer and that computer engineer has been working in the field for five to ten years while the other one's brand new, they have the same degree of a master, the guy that has five to ten years is gonna be making more than you. And it's not because of your hoo-hahs, it's because of skill because you've been working at the firm or whatever for this long right the amount of physical or mental exertion needed to perform the job for example suppose that two men and women work side by side in assembly machine parts okay it's kind of like what i was talking about earlier the person at the end line must lift the assembled product as he or she completes the work and place it on a board the job requires more effort than the other assembly line jobs if the extra effort of lifting the assembled product off the line is substantially substantial and is a regular part of the job, as a result, it would not be a violation to pay that person more, maybe 50 cents, a dollar more, whatever, you know? Regardless of whether the job is held by a man or a woman. If you're doing more work, you're probably gonna get paid maybe a little more, if not at least equal, right? It's Cause you're a woman, you're not gonna get paid less or you shouldn't. I, I did a simple Google of this, man. This is from the government. You can look this stuff up, equal pay and pension. So when you tell me one of them is an architect, right? Is she complaining that she wasn't get paid enough and was she comparing male counterpart because they had more experience and they've been in the firm longer or were they equal in training? Were they equal skill years worked in the field? Maybe, I don't think so, maybe not. It's a vague video. So that's probably why the comments were disabled. <laughs> the comments were to say look at the likes too look at those likes Jesus Christ I didn't even I I didn't dislike it here but I didn't like it either great job great job great job guys that's amazing work beautiful it's hilarious it's hilarious it's hilarious that they make this video just two days ago they brought this they made this video about two, three days ago. In 2018, we're still making videos like this. Like, come on, we're, we're better than that. I will put the links in the description down below if you guys wanna check these links out, read them for yourself. Um, 
I don't know. I'm done. I'm done with this story. I'm done with it. It's 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 ridiculous. Come on, come on. It's it's 